liberate. Like it was, it sounded like it was about to be, um, uh, like no, another thing of like no pressure, but instead it was just like an actually, I, I know you'll choose wisely, essentially is what he said. Um, Faye is finally ready. I don't think she has been up until now. That being said, A, I don't think she would help the plan that much. B, she didn't really like it in the com like she did not fit in in the Commonwealth. She honestly, I feel like has more friends here than she would in the Commonwealth. Um, Pamitha, I feel like we still have a little bit more character development to do. Jodario technically has more with Ignarius, but I'm trying to make I'm trying to make sure I'm not just making a petty decision. A, she would help the plan. B. We've exhausted, in terms of us, our whole story decision. C, she's not going to get with us. D, she's not going to get with Pamitha. E, I want her to have her freedom. I don't want to run out of chances while Jadariel is still with me. So even though I was expecting to kind of keep her until the end, I think I have to go with Jadariel. Let's take a look at the essence real quick, but like, yeah... Uh, Tamitha, who gets her extra help. Shikara, who goes faster. And Umani, who also goes faster. Yeah, we're gonna go to Dario. I, I really, truly hate to see her go, but if that is your wish. Who shall stand with her? Um. Yeah. Sure, let's get her out of here then. And yeah, <laughs> dude, you're so helpful for defense. Although against harps, it's going to be a little bit different. Let us prevail on this night for you, Jodario, and for the good of our ailing nation. It is done. One final obstacle to overcome, ere I can soar again above your commonwealth. Such destruction I shall reign upon it soon, but first, let us dance this final time. Comments. No, switch to someone else and jump. Yes! Oh, yeah, we were lagging real bad, aren't we? Yep, there's a crash. I just realized it would be really cool if Tamitha going free actually helps the plan because she's so intense on taking out the Commonwealth anyways. Um, obviously not as much of a boost as if one of our people got liberated. But more than if anyone else got liberated. I think that would be really cool if, if she gives a little bit of a boost. Volfred. Very well. ahead of them. Back up. 
Jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in, get in there! Yeah! As the Liberation Rite continues, you sense Pamitha reaching out to you, or perhaps just reaching out to anyone at all. Reader, someone, please, let her prevail. Let her prevail, please, let her prevail here this once. This thought makes me a traitor, so be it, but please, let Tamitha prevail, for she is here, wrapped up in all this, because of me. The plea trails off, and Tamitha remains steadfast, all her attention focused on the Liberation Rite. And as for Tamitha... Prepare yourselves, Nightwings! And as for you, Tamitha, I await the outcome of this night, for it shall soon ensure that I may never have to see your smirking countenance again. Oh, I don't like that! I don't like the, the, this idea of losing is winning! <laughs> you know, we're just gonna try our best. Whoever wins, wins, you know? Oh, they can kill the sapling if they do it just right. Ah, close. I don't like that the lag makes it so that my request to switch players sometimes just fails. I'm sorry to force you to defeat the sister that you want to go free. But hey, what? Okay, once we defeat the Commonwealth, we'll be able to get Tamitha back in here too. Hark now, my sisters. Damn what the book says. Advance to strike formation. Prevail here against these wretches, no matter the cost. In disregard for the ways of the rights, Tamitha Thane is ordered to try and for it to push further afield, adopting an even more aggressive stance for the remainder of this right. Wait, but is it not allowed? Oh yeah, they just get to start further up. Yeah, that's cheating. Such hatred spewing constantly from Tamitha. Okay, well. It, it's effective. <laughs> hey, how come she didn't... How come she didn't get... She passed the orb. Or she had the orb. How come the aura didn't... That seems sketch. Be gone now, Tamitha. Oof. Oof, he says. You left yourselves. Okay, wide. well. Tamitha may get her wish. Your adversary's pyre now burns brighter than your own. Mm, indeed. Okay. Okay. Exactly, it's not snuffed. Best not get overconfident, Nightwings. Oh, that was bad, Jodariel. That didn't help at all. I'm sorry, Tamitha, I forced you to do the killing blow, I'm so sorry. Because Jodariel 
is not, especially against hearts, it's very hard for Jadariel to get the final blow there. I, I am sad that I haven't managed to uh, hold true to that, but... Okay, again, I know they arrange it to whoever, whatever is most aesthetically pleasing, but it really feels like Jadariel should be in the center for the her own liberation, right? Oh, wow, I hope Pamela doesn't... I, she's probably going to lose, like, minus two hope or something. Like, that's not going to go well for her. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. You can say her name. Absolved of all misdeeds. Return to glory. Seemed like he was about to say her name and then didn't. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. I feel, I feel kind of, I feel kind of bad. It's for the plan. It's for the best. It's for the plan. And Jodario has earned her freedom. She deserves to go back. Man, the shimmer pool always takes forever to show up. I forget how to, I... I wonder if I had a good computer that didn't lag, if how much faster this scene would go. Damn you for this, Pamitha. All of this because of you. Has the statue moved up before? That seems new. After all this time. All this time, indeed. Oh, God, computer, please move forward. She turns her gaze toward the rest of you. I never thought this day would come. I have all of you to thank for this, for doing this for me. The life that I recall back in the Commonwealth was at times difficult, and I am much older now. I know not what I shall find on my return. However, I know this. If that place is still like the Commonwealth I left so long ago, then I shall strive to make it better. For as long as I retain my strength and breath. You see her smile faintly as she disappears into the shimmer pool, though you can still hear her voice though faintly now. Farewell then, leader. All of you. For now. Jodalio earned back her freedom, may she return in glory. So graceful while she does the it too. Scribes are watching from afar. By their grace, may the cycle of the rites keep turning for as long as possible. I feel like we're gonna get a warning when it is the last one, right? Like it's I know they're trying to keep it a mystery, but I feel like the game would not like have the final thing happen and be like, oh by the way, this is the last one. I'm kind of really wanting Wolfred to get all the way leveled up because I love, I do like that um, last stand ability. May the scribes have mercy on us all. Well, Pamitha, truly you did get the best of me again. Know that your actions put our sisters on the other side in even greater peril. Not that you care, of course, yet I am certain that they shall someday prevail with or without my aid. To think that I was born to share blood of someone such as you. Pamitha doesn't even get to respond to that? Okay. The stars continue fading. Your chances to deliver your airfield exiles grow scarcer but more frequent. I know. I know, game. I heard. Return to the wagon after having prevailed against the Essence and Liberation Rite. Dullness and Onworth. That's one last mouth to feed. Safe travels to you, Jodariel. The rest of us await the day of our reunion on the other side. You succeed in liberating Jodariel, who returned to the Commonwealth in glory. We have but a few such Liberation Rites remaining. Exactly how many I do not wish to speculate about as yet, until such times we can better say for certain. 
Under no circumstances was I, would I suggest this is ideal. However, it is an opportunity enough that our plan may as yet succeed. I'm not going to check that plan until after this time skip. Although, all these setbacks, I fear. Fulford trails off and falls silent. Some of the others exchange looks. They are beginning to understand. With the right soon ending, everything which Wolfred has sought, both on his own for many years and now with all of you, all of it may have been in vain. Nosh spreads to the others. But not to you. You then proceed to do something that none of them seem to expect. You raise your voice. I heard that throat clearing. That's great. We have not heard any voice acting from the protagonist. Each of your fellow exiles turns to you, their expressions asking you a question with no easy answer. What are we going to do? As you meet Faye's gaze, the words for the occasion begin to crystallize in your mind. You are searching to find the right words as all your fellow exiles are looking to you now. Um, you tell them that you all have stood together time after time throughout this quest and are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. Um, I try to consider a different way to put this. Oh, I get to choose. You've all stood together time after time and are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. Change that up. And think only a hollow fool would turn back now. No. Oh, those are my only options. Yeah, I know how the I know how the dialogue works. Thank you. Tell them you are not going to mince words with anyone here. Because by now each of you knows each other well. That would be a great service to the group. Tell them that you have all struggled to have come this far through many challenges you have faced, only to reach this low point in your journey. Yeah, no, that default was pretty good. You tell them that you have all stood together time after time and are now poised to seize upon a glorious opportunity. Your path to freedom still is bared before you all. Slash, none of you pursue this quest with any guarantees. It is clear now that all of you are going to return. Hang on. True freedom is not waiting. Path is difficult without the Edward and despair. This quest you all knew was unlikely to end well. One cannot assume they would have a happy outcome. Each of you knew this outcome was possible. I feel like we I feel like we're dipping into the acknowledging the badness of the situation, so in this case. I like it is clear not all of you are going to are going to return. Each of you knew this outcome. Although that makes it seem like you shouldn't feel bad. You all knew this was coming. Surely this has weighed heavily on everyone. One cannot assume it would have a happy outcome. I like it is clear now. Surely this is, I like that one. But something far more vital is at stake. You see the imminent conclusion. How oh, great we have three this time. Like far more vital, you see the end conclusions as a sign, it's a sign that the world is changing, it's a sign that the scribes are watching. Not scribes are watching, that's not good. Um, the disappearance of the stars above can be no accident. Okay. Meanwhile, the stars themselves are shining on for you, all of what transpired cannot be mere chance. They would spur you on to greater feats. You all now have a divine duty to uphold. Glory awaits if you can persevere together. Commonwealth is already in upheaval. There you have unfinished business to conduct. Its troubles are only beginning. That's threatening. You have to resist the forces that would crush you. The injustice committed on the other side cannot continue. Um, I don't want to go with the default automatically, but that's pretty good. Either this or the Commonwealth thing. Commonwealth is, uh, Commonwealth is already in upheaval. There you have unfinished business to conduct. The injustices committed on the other side cannot continue. Okay, but who do we have left? Pamatha and Volfrid care about that. Sir Gilman and Fay and Bertrude probably don't really care about the Commonwealth. They're willing to help, but like... Uh, I'm, I'm just curious if Fay would care about this speech, whereas the thing about the uh, stars shining is that would get through to her. That being said, I do want to service the plan. The plan is good. We need to, we need to figure out the plan. So we're going to go with this. Now is the time to stand and fight the forces that oppose you for your own sake, for those who live oppressed. For your people. For each other. For those who live oppressed. For those who do not fight, do not prevail. You have this opportunity to live with purpose. You all stand poised to ensure the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for your own sake, is a world worth living in. 
It's a world worthy of homecoming. Ooh, worthy of homecoming is fun too. You all stand poised to ensure the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for each other, is a world worth living in. Since we're not all gonna have homecoming, I do prefer a world worth living in. I like that. If you can believe any of this, then believe above all in each other. Believe that the plan may yet be achieved. If you cannot see the merit in this quest, then you are unfitest! Can you imagine if I looked Sir Gilman in the eye? It's like, if you don't care about this effing commonwealth plan, then effing get out. I mean, let's, let's look at these options, since we're definitely not going to pick this one. Let's look at these now. If you cannot see the merit in this quest, and you are unworthy of the raiments in the books, or unworthy of the standing the you're unfit to stand atop a sacred mountain, you're unworthy of the stars waning light. Good lord. When you look at it that way, which side of the world you end up on is all up to you. Whether you achieve your freedom is up to all of you. That's cute. Um, to each one of you in your own way, you need but see your journey to its end. That makes it sound like we're not going to have to make any hard choices of, like, just choose that you'd rather be here and that I don't have to liberate you. Just choose that. If you can believe any of this, then believe all in each other and trust what your heart is telling you. Believe that the plan may yet be achieved. Trust that you may yet prevail together. All right, I already touched on the plan. So I feel like now we can... I feel like we're starting to wrap it up a little bit here. So now we need to focus on team effort. So, um... What was the other one that was good? I did like this, whether you achieve your freedom is up to all of you. Um, but again, that seems like it's absolving me of responsibility and I am making very tough choices here. So I would say if you can believe any of this, I believe all in each other are like that. Believe that the plan may have be achieved. Trust that you may have prevailed together. I like that. After a brief period of reflection, you share one last sentiment with the group. Let us stand together now in all ways. Mere distance cannot separate our spirits. Oh, that's cute. The stars have not vanished. They have joined us. Blah. Let us bring about the harmony envisioned by the eight scribes. Eh. People of the Commonwealth need us as we need one another. I like this one. It's simple but effective. That is a nice closing statement. Let us stand together now and always. Thus do you remain together with your thoughts. No one speaks for a time, but then... You truly believe that your Commonwealth can change its ways then, reader darling? Suppose that I may yet come to believe it too. Thou wouldst dare change this ancient world, reading one, and yet thy words are tinged with certain truths. May long the stars remain a light for you, reader madam. All the while, Wolfred remains watching you intently. Mm. Then his expression softens, and he smiles. You are right, of course, my girl. We are the Nightwings. It is precisely as you said. Let us stand together, now and always. Lead us then, reader to the end of our quest and the dawn of the new age for all our kin. Everyone, for the night wings. Everyone responds in kind, yeah. They stand with you no matter what. They await the outcome of your vision of the stars, which burn with renewed fury because now the last rites wreck beckon. Each of the night wings gain plus one hope permanently. Let us stand together, that's so cool. I wonder, I wonder maybe we get different bonuses depending on what I focus on perhaps. I can't imagine that you can screw that up super badly, because that would just make all players who do that feel bad. Like, if you just don't have your way with words and you're not sure what's good at convincing people, I'd feel kind of bad if you just actually, the group is just like, eh. Uh, but it'd be cool if, like, what you choose to focus... I think I chose to focus mostly on teamwork. Um, and I mentioned... Yeah, we're going through a rough time. I mentioned we have to save the Commonwealth, but I feel like I, I focused on teamwork, and I wonder if that's what gave me the plus one hope. Um, or something like that. But anyways, that's really cool. The stars above now burn with what appears to be a desperate fury, many more of them than usual. The path is yours to choose amid a myriad of stars. Look upon them all. Are you saying we don't have to wait for the next ones? Because I was kind of... Not exactly counting on that, but... Really expecting that. Yeah, I know you said all of them. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. The stars of the eight scribes, they shine together now as one. 
Moon Minstrel draws breath as though surprised by what he sees. He packs away and averts his eyes. This is another sign the rites are soon to cease. Few chances yet remain to confront the adversaries you have met during your journey. Okay, I guess now we'll look at the planner since there's not going to be a time skip today. 2 dm the 15th of 12th moon, 8.37 AS. The stars continue to vanish. There cannot be many opportunities at liberty remaining. The others grow anxious. Not all of them shall make it out of here. Then we shall keep each other's company. 70%. Heck yeah! I feel like Jodario gave us a nice boost there. That's good. Wait! The essence lost in the triumvirate, which is supposed to reset you to zero, but Chastity is losing so badly that they're still at the bottom tied for zero. That's great. Um, okay. So now we can basically pick and choose who goes next, if we can literally choose from anybody. Um, we have two rights to the next liberation. Which means, uh, which means we have to face one of these three. Unless people kick out, unless, uh, like, unless one of these guys bumps these down in, while they're fighting while we're having our rights, if that makes any sense. These ranks might rearrange is what I'm saying. I feel like there's no point letting the distance win. Like, I... Yeah. Yeah, let's go up against Barker. Wherever the F he is. Yeah, let's go. Yes, please. Thank you. You are to face the distance again, led by the Kerr Barker Ashpaws. I believe you first confronted them soon after my awakening. I understand they caused much trouble in the past. He then shares with you what he's heard about your next opponent. Barker Ashpaw, the volatile Kerr who's packed the distance, conduct the rites far more so for thrill than freedom. Back on the other side, Barker never quite took the culture of the Commonwealth and often ran afoul took to the culture, and often ran afoul of the law for various acts of boorishness or vandalism. He always promised to go straight, and in time he found a certain niche, for he was an accomplished hunter. The people of the Commonwealth did have an appetite. Barker relished the hunt more than anything and spent his earnings on a variety of questionable things. One particularly raucous evening, Barker was caught relieving himself on the foot of the statue of Arch Justice Androboles IV, and that was the end of his citizenship. The Grand Judge who, in 617 AS, issued a decree prohibiting liberty in answer to growing unrest. Those who violated the law of the Commonwealth basically seen by the coins appointed Arch Justice. Arch Justice. Um, interesting that this is the guy who outlawed literacy. That's, that's, that's good lore building. I like that. On the downside, he caught the notice of the dissidents who observed his speed, ferocity, and fearlessness. He soon became the best of them. Barker's reputation grew among the exiled curs of the Jumura Valley region, where he is feared and unafraid of taking what he wants. As Barker Ash Paws is motivated to prevail at any cost, so best deal with him with caution. Anyhow, let us resume our travels at daybreak. Rest well until then, reader. You wish the lone minstrel a restful evening and turn. It is too late to take flight, though. Tomorrow you can press on. Let's talk to people. Uh, let's look at the book. Let's talk to people, and then let's call it for the night. We got two here, right? Dullness the Locket. Doubtless you have seen Black Basin, whose seething fissures yet spew noxious flame and vapor at the stars. Then you have seen the remnants of the wrath of Dolness, also called the Locket, for within himself he held the fires and the rage which shaped this very land. The Ash Titan he did threaten to devour us as we delved deeper in the reaches of the downside, till we at last outsmarted him. Quenched his flames we did when we learned an inauspicious storm his way. And so, whilst the Ash Titan has fled, the sopping coward, we can see his handiwork remains. The blackened crags forever shall bespeak the danger which he posed. In the words of Trist of Titus. The Fallen Empire of Sar was ruled according to an ancient bloodline thought to be infallible. Our society shall instead be by those who earn the privilege. We the eight, we cannot bear the burden of determining your worth. It shall be determined by your peers, and by you yourself. I love scientific publishing. We shall provide a framing through the rights to put you to the test against yourselves, against your kin, against your adversaries. The downside cannot let us all go free, thus freedom to the worthy. As the worthy, your true calling then begins, as you return to a society which longs to learn the wisdom you have gained along your path. The worthy shall lead. Cool. Let's talk to Tariq. 
After the liberation of Jadario, you find the lone minstrel back in the wagon, looking as though no such thing had occurred this night. You think he, you see him tilt his head as you approach. Looks at his house. Some words of congratulations are in order for this evening, I should think, reader. And so, congratulations on prevailing in the liberation rite. Surely Jodario shall be most grateful, and her safe return unto her commonwealth ought to benefit the plan in which you all now play a part. As for your adversaries of the essence, this must have been a bitter loss for them in Tamitha, although they must have known their chance was far from certain. Thus shall we all wait the next turn of the cycle of the rites. Celeste and I are to return to our respective duties for the time, as now Scribe's Gate is sealed. I await when next we all shall meet. When next you may yet live up to the glory of the night wings and the eyes of the eight scribes, which yet shine down for us. He trails off and nods to you in his cordial manner and bids you a good rest of the evening. Cool. That is exit. Wait for that glorious, glorious save icon to go away. And that's where we're going to call it for tonight. Jodariel is safe. And she is helping with the plan. I am saddened that my, my true love shall never come to be in this game, but it is all for the best. I should see what Pamatha's up to. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Good night, everybody.